Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you all and so today we will be discussing uh, inheritance. Before I start inheritance, uh, you must know two keywords, one is the superclass and the other one is subclass. So a superclass is a class that is inherited by a class and a subclass is a class that does the inheriting. So let's now implement the inheritance in Java. So here I have a program to implement inheritance. So first of all uh, I will create a super class. So I have created a class named A. I have taken two integers ing and I've taken a function that will display the value of i and j. Okay, then I will create a subclass by extending class A. So the keywords for inheriting a class is extends so class b extends a which means class b is inheriting from a i have taken another integer in int k and a function called so k which will print the value of k next i have taken another function sum which will print the sum of i j and k all right then i've taken another class called inheritance which will um, and then i've taken public static voidman string and then i have made the object of class a and the object of class B so the super class can use itself and so now I will pass the value of i and j using the object that I have created so I am passing the value of i as 10 and j as 20 and then I will print the value of k. So this is i and j which we have initialized in class A. And here is the function ij which will print the value of i and j. So uh, I will now call the function i and j using the object of class A and then I will create the I will pass the value of i, j and k in the subclass using the object for subclass and then I will print the content of subclass by invoking the function in the subclass that is the uh, so k which will print the value of k and as well as uh, get the value of i and j and print it sum So here is the subclass. To find the sum, I have used the function sum which will print the value of i, j and k. So let's recap once again.
okay now let's compile the program using java c followed by the file name so it has compiled now let's run the program using java followed by the file without extension and here you can see the output of the program the contents of super object is the value of ij is 1020 that we have passed and the content of sub object at a value of inj78 has been printed over here 